good morning and welcome to this interaction in the course under the program college to corporate you may be surprised to see me ordinarily professor viren sethi handles this session i have come here for a very specific reason as you are aware next semester we will be offering two courses one on financial literacy and the other is on technical skills i propose to introduce the reason for including technical skills as part of the college to corporate program as i had mentioned earlier all of you do technical courses but you are not familiar with the process of building designing large systems which necessarily require teams and mostly interdisciplinary or multidisciplinary teams now this team formation is also critical in all aspects including soft skills and workplace communication therefore professor sethi and i decided that we'll give you a curtain raiser or a glimpse of what is going to be covered under the technical skills course next semester what we have done is uh, something very special in iit bombay we have a large team of students almost 70 students who are called team shunya they have been building actually sustainable future in terms of providing buildings which are net energy positive so the buildings work purely on solar energy these 70 people are participating in an international conference a international competition actually in beijing they will tell you more about it but what is important is that 70 students came together and this is not the first time they are doing it they have been doing it for several years now so how the teams are built and how the teams work and what are the technical issues they face and how they resolve them is a very very interesting uh, what should i say addition to your understanding of solving large scale technical problems and as i said it should also help you understand better how teams are formed and how teams work so without further ado i am happy to welcome feba vargis gunjan auti and rituraj sambhus these are the three representatives out of 70 you can see them out there can you raise your hands or you did already yes so these three people will be taking you through a short presentation of 15 minutes over to you. them thank you thank you sir for that wonderful introduction uh, good morning to one and all i am feba vargas a master student in iit bombay and it's my privilege and pleasure today to represent team shunya uh, so it's always very scary to take risks in life and but without taking risk we can never become successful in our life uh, in in the year 2013 a group of students from iit bombay decided to take a risk they decided to build and implement a net positive energy house which is fully solar powered at that time this idea was not at all far fetched a net positive energy house means we are producing more energy than what we consume and but the risk they took led to the inception of team shunya now coming to the question of why we needed such a project if we look into the current energy scenario of at a global level cities just take up a very small piece of land but they are responsible for a large amount of energy consumption as well as they contribute to a big amount of pollution if we look into our own country a country is urbanizing very fast the housing demands and energy demands are also increasing very fast uh, but we have a very limited reserve of fossil fuels and uh, uh, it is very much required that we make a transition to renewable energy uh, now gunjan oti will explain further Uh, so according to the paris summit 2015 the cop 21 india has taken up a challenge to produce about 40% of its energy from renewables by 2030 which is which amounts about 175 gigawatts of energy which is huge amount out of which india proposes to produce 100 gigawatts of energy using solar and currently we are about at 5 gigawatts which is very low so in next 13 years our goal is to produce 95 gigawatts of solar energy and how are we going to achieve it we are going to achieve it by using solar rooftop 
and uh, solar farms and whatever technology we can use. So, Team Shunya is based on this vision only. Our house is completely solar powered. It produces more power than it consumes. Uh, without affecting the lifestyle of user, it, it is very energy efficient. Plus, it is modular construction by which we can construct the house in very lesser time. Feba will explain about the team. Gunjan just uh, explained about the vision. Now, if we look into our team, we need a very structured team in place. Uh, so, as uh, Fatak sir has already mentioned, we are a group of about 70 students guided by about 9 plus professors. This is our team structure. We have a project engineer, we have a project manager and under them we have the civil, electrical, mechanical team. Under the project manager, we have the operations, communication, sponsorship, etc. We also have an integration team that integrates these teams. And communication team is responsible for communicating to the outside world what we are doing, also for internal team bonding. And sponsorship bridges the gap between industry as well as uh, the technology. We also have a lot of fun together. Uh, we learn things together. You can see here a glimpse of our various activities. Uh, we uh, conduct games, programs, etc. to increase our team bonding. Now, Rituraj Sampus, the project manager, will explain further. So, hi, Rituraj here. So, the, our main aim is also to facilitate learning to our students. So, this project has steep learning curves, as you can see. It includes learning of technical skills as we get our hands on a practical live case study. Hence, we start appreciating the academics we learn back in our classes. Then we get a chance to do some lab work to have hands-on testing and experience on novel technologies. It's a unique opportunity to collaborate with industries and work together with professionals on a technology. And it's really a very different thing from what we do in our academics. And this is very common abroad. But we want to cultivate this culture in India. Uh, these were technical skills. But are technical skills only sufficient for success? No. You need soft skills and communication skills also. And what we offer? Public speaking. Like now I am presenting it to all of you for the first time. But this gave me an opportunity to learn how to speak. So public speaking is very important. Then we have to negotiate with vendors. Because we have large contracts like shipping fabrication and hence we have to deal with the professional vendors also. Then we have to pitch our project to the companies and director level people in the companies for funding and for support. So that's a one of a kind experience that you can get at this young age. And lastly, the most important is the teamwork because to pull off such a big project, we require coordination and we have to learn people skills to manage people. So, this is what we offer. So, now my friend Gunjan will continue. So, uh, I'll explain a bit about Project Solarize. We are going to present this, uh, we are participating in a competition named Solar Decathlon, which is like a Olympics for solar houses, you can say. So, we are building a ground plus one floor 1800 square feet house, which is going to be completely solar powered. It uses lesser energy than it produces. It is constructed within 12 days, so it is very fast construction and it keeps in mind the uh, all the aspects of residence there. So, it also provides electric car with it. So, we, uh, we did a study and uh, we selected Amravati city for our project, which is the upcoming capital of uh, the Andhra Pradesh, which is new state now. And it is, we studied the climate there, we studied the environmental uh, set up there and then accordingly we built our, we structured our house. So, we'll talk up something about innovations. Uh, we do a lot of innovations in IIT Bombay, but how to integrate them together? It's a very big task. So, here we can see uh, there is a solar air heater collector, uh, there is a solar oven, there are radiant panels, there is an ERV. So, all these things together we use in our house. Uh, why, why to use radiant panels? Why not use conventional AC for thermal comfort? Because radiant panels are way more effective than uh, our conventional AC. Radiant panels basically do what? They cool your head and they warm your feet. So, 
that's what you sh you should always be doing then there is an erv we put a lot of amount of ener lot of amount of energy to cool the air inside so why to waste that energy so we'll basically uh, do an heat exchange between outside air and inside air so that our exergy losses are minimized next we have electrical innovations uh, there is a modular wiring which is a very big task because we have to construct our house in 12 days modular wiring is a very important aspect of wiring we don't have to uh, strip the wires and then connect the together which takes a lot of time then we are com automating our house completely it's going to be a smart house so it will know when you come inside when to switch on the ac when to switch on the lights when to dim the lights according to your mood it sets the lighting then will monitor energy of each and every appliance we use in our house so that if any how appliance is consuming more energy we can replace it or we can maintain it properly then comes civil part in civil we are constructing the house we have to construct the house very fast very rapidly in 12 days so we have come up with a hybrid modular construction so basically we erect the columns first we put on floor grids we put on the pods the bathroom pods and we put on the wall panels and voila the house is ready so basically these are the renders of this year's house you can see it is a ground plus one floor house with a bamboo facade and the bamboo facade looks not only looks aesthetically good but it also provides a better heat shielding from the outside these are the renders of the house so ruturaj will explain more about the competition and the team so as we can see team shunya is the only team from india that is we represent india at the international competition solar decathlon now solar decathlon is a competition organized by us department of energy and is like olympics in the field of solar powered prefabricated houses so uh, this time it's going to be held in china in 2018 and it's in collaboration with chinese government so the challenge is to design build and operate a net positive energy attractive and energy efficient solar powered house so why why we participate in the competition this is because we have to validate what research and what product we are developing what our project is so it's a great platform for our team to compete with the international players and to show that what we do is of international standard so we are glad to be one among the 22 selected teams from the world so you can see the scale of the competition these are some numbers so many vips visit the competition many big companies visit the competition and interact with the teams there so this is a picture of solar decathlon 2014 and you can see the india's flag in the group photo so now coming to 2014 i just now mentioned the, uh, sh uh, showed you the pick of 2014 so we did participate in solar decathlon europe in 2014 with the project h not so it was team shunya's first project and first participation at the international level so it was a 700 square feet net positive energy house 100% solar powered and in the process of this project we had eight publications and two patents so you can see the research was going taking off with the project so this is the picture in france paris so these are the interiors of the house seems nice so as you can see these are our team members constructing the house so as you can see many vips visit our house and acknowledge us and it's really a great experience to interact with such people so as we can see in the picture honorable piyush goel sir is the minister of railways and coal so this is honorable dr harshvardhan is the minister of science and technology uh, everyone knows him mr ratan tata he is with our 2014 team is honorable mr manohar parrikar and our team presenting him the model of the house 
it's difficult to carry out such a huge project without the support of companies and industry and the it, uh, as you know the power of the nation is represented by the power of its industries hence these are the companies which are our present sponsors and supporters they support us with funds and their products and help us in technically also to develop systems and integrate integration of all those systems so these were our previous sponsors so the main aim of uh, this session is that we are doing this project in iit bombay but that's not sufficient for our country because it's we who who have to take steps and take right decisions for our future and our future generations hence we want whole india and the students like you to take leads and to start such projects in your colleges so i request you to visit uh, our website and register there as campus ambassador so that you can represent your college and be a connecting link between us and your college and we can maybe visit your college and conduct some events for knowledge transfer or technical workshops which can help you to uh, go forward in this direction and we really want your support and we together can create a sustainable future for sure thanks a lot so now i will uh, show you the time lapse video of the house we had built in 2014 a lot for your attention and we hope to connect with all of you and now professor fatak will continue so i hope you enjoyed this presentation i would like to repeat two important themes while we will be covering many aspects in the technical skills course next year for the time being please remember two things number one creating teams building teams nurturing teams and working as teams it's an extremely difficult proposition but you can master it by some practice and i would request all the coordinators in respective remote centers to pay attention to this important activity of building teams of course as regards team shunya is concerned i will ensure that the presentation and the time lapse video is uploaded not only as a part of the course content for this course but also for the workplace communication course so that all students will be able to see that and they can in fact download these presentations and videos for their own viewing later as i said this was an important activity that has been happening in iit bombay and we all felt that you should be aware of how such large activities are carried out with this i will now request professor virendra sethi to come and take over 
the regular proceedings. Thank you so much.